Calgary hockey fans will remember Brandon Cozen from his days starring for the Hitmen. After spending time in both the NHL and AHL, Cozen moved to the KHL two years ago, where he's been among the league's top scorers. The biggest surprise I had when I first went over was how good the hockey actually was. Um, you know, there's, there's such good players playing over there that I think could easily be in the NHL. For the first time since 1994, NHLers are not going to the Olympics. So Canadians like Cozen, currently playing in Europe, are next in line. Call it Plan B. You never want to be part of the Plan B, but in, in this case, you know, I'll take it. A situation like that where you would have a chance to play for your country on the biggest stage, I mean, you always have to be prepared. Calgary defenseman Matt Robinson has been playing overseas for the last six years, but he could be vaulted into the spotlight next February. To be able to potentially, you know, get a medal or, you know, just the experience of the Olympics alone would be tremendous. The roster could look similar to that of a Spangler Cup, but regardless of who makes up Team Canada, don't expect the expectation to change. Well, I can tell you that it'd be a good team, for sure. It's, there's, there's good players all around the world. The goal would be to win gold. I think that's always kind of the goal, and um, I think we're, we would be good enough to do it. We wouldn't go over there just being happy just to be there. I mean, we'd be wanting to win and not let our country down. Hockey Canada is currently working on playing a series of tournaments in Russia as Olympic auditions, scheduled to start in early August. And no matter when Canada calls, you answer. It's hard to describe the feeling of being able to go out there and put the sweater on and, 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 and the pride you get from it. Represent our country is, would be awesome. Brendan Parker, Global Sports.